Hello, dear learners! I'm Teacher Noe, your teacher in Grade 8 Science. I hope that you're all doing fine and excited to learn. Make sure that you are in a convenient place for you to stay while watching this instructional video. In this video presentation, I'll be discussing the subatomic particles of matter. So may I request everyone to help with you your learning activity sheets, answer sheets in grade 8 science, and a pen for you to use in completing your activities. Just a reminder, my dear learners, practice personal hygiene protocols at all times. But before we begin our lesson, may we invoke the presence of our dear Lord through a short prayer. Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our lessons with fun. Fill our school with love and peace. Amen. After this video lesson, you are expected to Determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a particular atom. Let's discuss first the different subatomic particles and some terms necessary for this topic. Let's start with atoms. Atoms are the basic unit of matter and the defining structure of elements. Atoms are made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. So what is proton? Proton is the positively charged particle of an atom, and it is found in the nucleus of an atom. While electron is the negatively charged particle of an atom, and it is orbiting around the nucleus of an atom. On the other hand, neutron is the particle of an atom with no electrical charge and is also found in the nucleus of an atom. And what is nucleus? Nucleus is a tiny, positively charged central core of an atom. It is where the mass of an atom is concentrated. Therefore, atoms consist of nucleus made up of protons and neutrons orbited by electrons as what you can see in your screen. How would an atom of particular element look like? Let's have a closer look to a hydrogen atom with one proton and one electron. So, this is how a hydrogen atom look like. Hydrogen is a chemical element with a chemical symbol of capital H. Its single proton is located at the center of an atom called nucleus, and its loosely bound single electron is orbiting around the nucleus. Amazing, right? How about if an element has more number of electrons and protons? How would its atom look like? So let's take a look at the atom of aluminum with an atomic number 13, with 13 electrons, 13 protons, and 14 neutrons. Aluminum is a chemical element with a chemical symbol that starts with capital A followed by a small letter L. Its 13 protons and 14 neutrons are present inside the nucleus, but its 13 electrons are orbiting around the nucleus. This only shows that the higher the number of subatomic particles the particular element has, the more complex the atom is. Let's also discuss how atomic number and mass number is related to the number of subatomic particles. Let's start with atomic number. Atomic number represents the number of protons in its nucleus. But atomic mass or mass number indicates the total number of protons and neutrons. 
for an electrically neutral atom with zero electric charge, the number of electrons is the same as the number of protons. This time, let's discuss the representation of atomic number and atomic mass of a known atom through the following equations. First equation is x is equal to e and also equal to e. We also have n is equal to a minus x. And lastly, a is equal to p plus n, where x is atomic number, a is atomic mass, p is for proton, e is for electron, and n is for neutron. This time, we'll be having simple mathematical calculations in determining the number of proton, electron, and neutron of an unknown atom applying the following equations. x is equal to e and also equal to p, which means that atomic number is equal to electron number and also equal to proton number. We also have a is equal to p plus n which means that atomic mass is equal to the sum of proton and neutron. And lastly, we have n is equal to a minus x, which means that a neutron number is equal to the difference between the atomic mass and atomic number. So are you ready, guys? Class in your screen is an incomplete data of element and its append. So let's start by completing the table by filling up the correct values required. Let's have item number one. The given atomic mass of nickel is 59 and nickel's proton is 28. What would be its atomic number? Applying the equation x is equal to e and also equal to p, its atomic number must be 28 and its electron number must also be 28. How about its neutron? If you said 31, then your answer is definitely correct. Very good. 31 is the correct neutron number since it's obtained from subtracting the values of A and X with 59 and 28 respectively. Let's move on to the second item, which is the chemical element uranium. The given quantities are numbers of electron and number of neutron, with values 92 and 146 respectively. What would be the atomic number and proton number of uranium? If you said 92, you are correct. Very good. It's 92. What about the mass number of uranium? If you said 238, then your answer is correct. Excellent job! It's 238. 238 is obtained by adding the values of P and N, which are 92 and 146 respectively. Now it's your turn to answer items 3, 4, and 5 for 10 points. So grab your pen and paper as I give you 30 seconds to finish your task. Are you ready? Timer starts now. Time is over! Let's check your answers! For item number 3, X must be 1, A must also be 1, and E 
is equal to 1. For item number 4, P must be 67. E must also be 67. And N is equal to 98. For item number 5, X is equal to 68. E must also be equal to 68. And N must be equal to 99. Were you able to have perfect score? If so, excellent job! Before I end this video lesson, let's have a recap on what has been discussed a while back by labeling correct parts of an atom. Let's begin. What do you call the tiny positive central core of an atom? If your answer is nucleus, you're correct. How about the positively charged particle of an atom present inside the nucleus? If your answer is proton, very good, you are correct. What about a particle of an atom which is also present in the nucleus with no electrical charge? If your answer is neutron, you're definitely correct. Very good. What about the negatively charged particle of an atom orbiting around the nucleus? If your answer is electrons, then you're correct. Very good. Did you all get the correct answers? If so, excellent job! For your final task, tell what element is represented by this atom with two proton, two neutron, and two electrons. Hurry up! Send me your answer to my phone number 2955-255-8571 or you can PM me with my messenger account, NRA Sansano Billion. I hope that you learned a lot from this video lesson. Once again, this is Teacher Noe saying goodbye.